Okay, so this is the week the brakes are starting. Um, I'm gonna get everything basically cleaned up, brackets and everything made, ready and waiting for, for putting on, pretty much. Uh, this is one of the rear discs, I think. Yep, this is one of the rear discs. I've got this one cleaned up already uh, to a degree. Most of it's not fully clean yet, but it's uh, getting there. So that's basically what that should be. Uh, there's gonna be a section in the center I've got to make uh, in here um, out of some galvanized steel I've got down here which is literally 24 and a half um, centimeters uh, width wise which amazingly is the same as those holes need to be so that's mad so I'm going to cut them into, into some uh, round hole round um, sections so that will obviously go into the holes in there probably on the other side actually this other side hasn't been cleaned yet uh, put it on this other side here bolt into there uh, and obviously they're going to fit on the original hub assembly uh, I've got the car already aired up a little bit I was just putting the jack on there there we are so let me just get around the other side here okay so basically where are we so I've got the finger there as uh, so the plan is obviously you've got the original 1.4 tiny little crappy brakes in there um, with the caliper uh, I'm going to have to do some work on that caliper in there basically to um, to make sure the clearances are going to be fine for the for the new ones but basically the disc is going to fit where are we? finger there we are um, the disc is basically going to fit in that section and then that's going to obviously hopefully clear the caliper if not then I'm going to have to think of another plan there and do something but that's easy work really to be fair I can work on that uh, this is the disc that's going to be going on there that's good and just needs cleaned up there's no point just yet because i'm going to be getting it mucky anyway doing this uh, i've got the sorry the brembo here let's go on this side okay got the brembo here um so i've got i've got to make up some brackets to fit this to the car and figure out what's going to move and what isn't going to move obviously i want it like a uh, normal kind of brake so i don't want the caliper or the disc to well this could be rotating but the, the color point move uh, so the plan is to obviously make a, a bracket to get this fitted on uh, it's quite a big hole so i'm gonna have, have to have fun with that and some big bolts and stuff but that's fine i can arrange that i've got stuff i can use for that so yeah anyway we'll see how it goes i'm gonna start it it's gonna take a little while because obviously it's um not the easiest thing in the world to do no one's probably ever done this before on a clear but there you are so i shall crack on with it i'll do a part two and let me know what you think after that Right, so I thought I'd do this in three parts because uh, it'll show you more about what I've been, well, how I've got to the, to, to the stage I'm at now. Um, so basically, these are the circles I've drawn um, out of some, I think it's probably two, maybe two and a half mil um, galvanized steel. Uh, so I've done four circles. You'll notice one's missing, obviously. Uh, so what I've done basically, that's going to the first disc, this one's going to do the front disc first basically because they're the hardest ones because uh, I, I can decide then which way the discs are going to go around to clear calipers and stuff uh, and obviously the rear ones are going to be the easy ones anyway hopefully, all being well uh, so I've done the disc, I've glued it in place so I know where to drill the holes behind um, also I'm going to drill from underneath there, it's still set in so I can't move that at the moment uh, I've got the wheel off okay. Okay, I've got the wheel off. Um, the, there's a bit of an issue with the clearance for the caliper, as you can imagine. Uh, so the disc itself comes round to, let's try and angle this properly, it's hard in this tight space. This comes round to here, um, it just clears that by a few mil. So in theory that should be fine, but it depends on where I've put that metal in the middle of the disc, as to how far the clearance is and how much room I've got this side and the back or the front, whichever way it is, I can't remember, front I presume, uh, for the um, for the caliper to go. So yeah, that's the plan. So literally, I've got to do a bit of measuring, test fitting. Uh, I've got, like I said, literally, I've got, I've got that um, got that all stuck in there so I can drill the holes in the middle as well. So I've got the four holes to go onto the, onto the hub. So that'll go onto, uh, where are we? These four, hub, these four holes, well, three holes actually there uh, to get the uh, 4x100 4x100 fitment um, and then basically yeah that's going to be quite uh, quite fun so I'll do part three anyway 
see how far we get. I don't think I'll get onto the back in this video because I think it's going to be too much to do. Um, but I'll certainly try. But if not, then I'll try and get this one done at least and see where we go from there. Okay, so part three. Um, I was hoping to have a bit more done um, than I have now, but to be honest, it's been quite a difficult uh, job, this one. Uh, harder than I thought. Um, but basically, I've got the, the disc put together. Um, roughly, so obviously I can't put all the bolts and stuff in yet because I'm just doing testing and clearance spaces and various other things. Um, so basically I've got the, it's not the best of light unfortunately, it's a bit dark, but uh, I've got the um, inner bell area made up out of some, I think it's two or maybe three mil, probably two mil uh, steel, galvanized steel. Uh, I've got that held in place with four bolts that I've, I've drilled through the, the steel with that. Uh, I've started drilling the five holes there for the uh, for the fitment for the bolts to go through from the wheel to the hub assembly through to the space for anything else. Uh, so that's on there. I was hoping to have the at least a test fit on the caliper by now, um, but I'll be on that instead this weekend and bank holiday Monday. So I'll have a, a new video on Monday to show, which should be pretty good, hopefully. Should be a lot more done, because I'll have quite a few hours to, to, to work on it. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping, well the, ne well, the next stage really is for uh, to check the clearances, so I'm going to finish these holes off, um, get it bolted on with the wheel, um, and then basically test the clearance for the caliper against the back of the wheel, because uh, obviously we've got to make sure it clears the spokes, What's the internet, to be fair, I don't know why I showed you that, um, clears the spokes, and uh, obviously we'll still turn and everything else. So yeah, there we are. We'll um, I'll crack on with that, and I'll uh, I'll post the progress. Luckily, I'm doing the front first, so this is the harder one. The rear one's the easy one. Um, so I'll uh, I'll crack on with this, and I'll do another video at the start of next week. I'll call it Monday.